Hey guys, Vivi Chan here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to continue with My Hair Academia with episodes 104 and 105. And yeah, you know, last week was an anime only episode, which, you know, I wanted to call it filler, but I had friends who were like, no, it's anime only. It's still canon. It's anime canon. So, all right, anime only it is. And I was debating so long whether to, you know, film a reaction or watch it offline, but I took so long that... You know, might as well watch it. So we're going to do two episodes today. So let's just get stuck in. Oh, shoot. I hope I remember everyone's names. Wait. Can we go back? Am I watching the right episode? I believe so. I think this is like a recap, right? A preview. You know, they're like gearing up to be heroes. We see the guy's side and now we're going to go to the girl's side. All right, this is a new intro. I mean, I noticed that they changed the, the poster on the Crunchyroll's page. Yeah, Endeavor was pretty cool last episode. Oh, we get to, yeah, see what they're doing. But they probably, yeah, were doing the same as their previous. Very nice. Wow, the violin playing is going off. They sure are. Oh, I was ready for opening, not fan service. Is this fan service? It's not fan service. It's just like a cute moment. Yeah, I think I'm using the word fan service too loosely. I mean, it's just a little update. It's not like a big change. Oh, because Deku destroyed. <laughs> Got all touchy touchy. Skinship. Ooh, what's the purple stuff? Grape juice? That creme brulee looks good. Yeah, you're gonna bet I'm always gonna be talking about how yeah, how good the food looks. Everything, everybody now here. Yeah, so Endeavor last episode, he gave some pretty cool advice i mean it's like simple but like logical like you don't think of it in a moment but it's the truth right and i love you know he knows how serious this is and he's actually like listening to what they're saying because like in my head or you know the old him would probably be like oh why do i have to watch these kids i'm just here to train my son blah 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 yeah, but he actually listened to what Deku, Bakugo, and his son, Toroki, I mean, he is a Toroki, Shoto had to say. Because for Shoto, he probably thought, oh, it's my son. And then he realized, oh, Shoto's just using him to learn too. And he says, like, you know, use your fire to burst, just like your ice power, Bakugo. What did he tell him? Like, he says he has a lot of potential. He's trying to see what the number one hero has to offer. And then with Deku, he's like, just focus on your current your first ability which is the all might ability and then later on do the the whip attack the thing is all might is like superman he's perfect he can control his power flawlessly with the one that he has deku on the other hand he needs training so endeavor is like the perfect one to give advice because he struggled dragor Ooh. Is her hair thing like twirlier and higher than before? Toriga. It's a uh, anime manga. I'm just kidding. Legal drug. I like that we 
never seen this class B girl again. Mm -mm. Oh, that's the trigger. Ew! All those holes give me, what's it called? Is it tryptophobia? Tryptophobia. Are we gonna see Tsuyu in her, in action? Maybe it's went under submarine style. I mean, Suyu can go underwater. She can sense them. I'm just wondering if like Uraraka and like Suyu's uh, stories, missions are going to clash or it's just like two separate ones. Aha, team up. Dragor. Like, UQ. Drag, dr drag, or, or? Seriki. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought she was already with them. Whoops, my bad. He didn't mention the other girl. From Class B. That, that... That girl's from class B, right? Was, was I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember. <laughs> That's how little they show class B. <laughs> Frozen. I forget, did he do that last time? Wow, this feels so peaceful. This, the memories of the filler episode. I mean, anime only episode. <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna put a beach episode in a, the filler episode? <laughs> uh, I'm dead. <laughs> what is this? I thought we we're gonna have some trigger, some filler, not anime filler. <laughs> Under the sea. Uh, wait, how does it go? 
The seaweed is always greener. It's um, I uh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, this is nice at the beginning of it, the series, or but I can definitely see some fans angry that they waited like a whole year for season five, and then they're getting this. This is not vacation. What ha trigger? I'm triggered that they're not going after the trigger. I know it's like, oh, he's not around, but don't you need to be looking? Or is it like, oh, I'm looking, but while I'm looking, let me have some fun while I wait. I guess we're back to serious. Yeah, but since this is a, you know, filler episode, I guessing it's not related to the the vil the League of Villains stuff, right? This is just its own episode thing. Rely on this. Yeah, don't rely on that too much. You're going to run out. And get your ass whooped. Wow, I feel like I haven't seen one for Froppy in so long. Yeah, you're working now that it's sundown. It's gonna be hard to see. You supposed to do this in the morning time. So it's easier to use your ability. The night will cloak the darkness. I uh, yeah. Or are they purposely waiting for nighttime? Okay, Marina. Yeah, I mean, that boat... Oh, never mind. At first, I thought their boat looked like a submarine. It's like, just go in the water. But they had the long crane at the top. Ooh. I mean, we don't need an explanation. We know what <laughs> a dragon clerk is going to do. It's do what a dragon does. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm such a hater this episode. <laughs> She shoots beams. Shock waves. Wow, she's just number 10. She has a name. I guess they could have done that, like, oh, go number one hero, number two hero. They do the same, too. But it sounds bad when you're like, oh, you're number 10. Once again, no need to explain his quirk.
Yeah, but I'm sure they probably have a whole bunch of those chemical gun triggers on their ship. So it'll be a while before they run out. So it's gonna hold us off a while. Oh wait, or the smoke is the hype? Or is that his quirk? I don't even know what the enemy's quirk is. Wee infiltrated. Oh, I guess, yeah, I'm stupid. His quirk is the holes let out the gas, right? All right, took one out. And this shouldn't be that hard to, do, to catch him if he's got the sonar thing. He doesn't even need to see. Oh, damn. So that's what the flicking buttons were. You're in the sky! Go go destroy the vehicle! Come on, they went from ocean freight to air freight. Go, go, go! Come on, Ryukyu and Nejide, what are you doing? Fly after them! Yeah, you're gonna have the water girl get a flying object. Yeah, Ryukyu, go! Oh man, there's no way you could have Nejide shoot her beams behind you and like, propel you forward. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, this idea is similar to what I just said, but... <laughs> the way they do it! Yeah, sure, you're gonna have another barbecue. In range? Come on. Oh, so that's her new support item. Alrighty now, can you fly? Can you land this aircraft? Go for 909, I need help. I don't even know. She knows how to fly a plane? Somebody give her guidance. Like, yeah, lately I've been watching a lot of, like, documentaries and, like, one of them, plane crashes. So I'm just scared one mishap, psh, crash, and then she dies. Of course this is, you know, anime. She's not gonna die that easily. Oh, just, yeah, just, just ditch the plane. You don't, who cares for this plane? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, thank you for caring for the oceans. I don't like when people litter and need to recycle. I don't know how, like, how to fly a plane, but can't, maybe you should like lever it up. Yeah, or catch the plane. Or that. Yeah, she can fl 
float the plane if it's like, you know, in a state of not moving. Now levitate it. Yeah, sometimes I forget. Oh yeah, they can use their powers. <sighs> yeah. Because that's the most logical. She used her powers to just, you know, levitate it. All right, balance everything all good. And a star is born. <sighs> I'm just thinking Deku on the side is like, I hope Uraraka and them are doing well. And then they're enjoying a party. Yeah, but we're going to stop it before it all happens. Yeah, who told you to do that? Wow, they just like stared at the screen. Like, <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that because it doesn't mesh with the vibe. Is there like... I feel like there's something at the end, so I'm just gonna skip to that. All right, it looks like there is something there. Is this an ad for something? The hero's banner, what would you like to do? I think it's... I know, recognize that voice. Um... You need to stop League of Villains if you want salvation. I think... Alright, so I kind of looked it up and I believe this episode is to advertise for the Boku no Hero movie that's about to come out. That's why I'm like, wait, they're leading in a plot for something. This arc that we're in, the League of Villains army, I forgot what it's called, arc that we're in is like super serious and then they throw in a beach episode. It kind of like messes up the vibe. Yeah, so I'm just wondering next episode, we're just going back to the canon stuff. Because if we do one more episode of filler, I think people are going to be pissed. Like, it was an okay episode, but, you know, I'm sure people want to see, like, the other stuff. Alright, let's continue next. All right, so back to the serious stuff. It, I mean, the episode hasn't started, but it looks like we're going to be going back to the boys, right? Like I was saying, the previous episode, it just kind of messed with the vibe of the whole arc. And if it really was an ad for the movie, then it's like a weird place to put it. Maybe if they put it in the episode... Hmm... I don't know if that will work though, because they have to introduce that, oh, they're doing intern, and then, 
I don't know, if they start with the girls first, I think people get mad. So they teased the guys first, and then they went to the girls' fan service. I mean, I would love to see an episode where everyone goes to the beach, and then there's an equal amount of fan service. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? Because, yeah, imagine like Todoroki, Deku, Bakugo, just like, in their swimming trunks, whatnot, speedos, whatever they want to wear at the beach. <laughs> ah, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder what other good advice that uh, Endeavor is going to uh, provide to them. Yeah. I just really like that we get to see, you know, Endeavor struggle to be the best hero. Like, he's not a good father, husband, family man, but he put in the effort to change. Yeah. Oh, you mean at Endeavor's agency? Yeah, villains are lurking. You better have a security guard with you at all times. Wait, was that the and oh endeavor? I was like, wait, Totoro uh, Shoto or yeah. Mmm, he's still doing the bet. Whoever can can pass him, but I thought he was gonna let them do something. Well, I guess this is a way for like if the villains were to check them out, they'd be like, oh, looking at Endeavor instead of the kids, so the focus, yeah, is off. Yeah, because I think one of Hawk's thing is we don't want the League of Villains to see how strong the these kids are have become. Yeah, Endeavor's not even breaking a sweat. I can't believe he just leaves it sitting on the table. Just kind of like put it away. Yeah, but it's probably not that big of a deal. Oh yes, family time. Are they gonna have, you know, a barbecue? Like, you know, they've been working every day. They deserve to have a little downtime on Saturday. Although I think in Japan, they work on Saturdays, half day. I love that big sis Fuyumi is giving like so much effort into this. Like she's like, wow, my, my brother, my father's, they're, they're, ha they're like interacting. Oh, not this flashback again. 
I think we've seen this enough times. I guess the anime is never gonna let us forget like how he abused his family in the past. Oh wow, we're getting the whole flashback. Man, that look in the mom's eyes must have haunted Tor Shoto. Oh, I guess this is the past. Yeah, he don't have the scar yet. Yeah, it takes a lot for someone to recognize, to forgive, to move on to... Well, I didn't even realize his shoes matches with the flames. It just, you know, throughout his whole suit, it can contain the fire. I guess it does, because he might need to shoot fire out of his shoes to propel himself. I just thought he used his, his hands like Bakugo. Meh. It's fully equipped to protect the body. <laughs> what happened to Bakugo's hair? Oh, is it because he doesn't want to put on the mask early? I mean, it has holes for his eyes. It don't matter.
It's weird that Bakugo has pupils, because usually when he does that, it's all blank white. She sees how rowdied up they've been. Holy crap! I mean, that normally doesn't happen, like the chances of that, unless a villain messed with it. It's not easy to like tell someone to leap off a building. <laughs> Oh, please, please do, please. Please invite them out. Like, you know, it's fun. I mean, it's not fun. It's tiring that they're working so hard. I want to see some, like, downtime with them. Like, the downtime with them feels much deserved. The beach episode one, not so much. Yeah, she the one trying to keep everything together. You gotta, you know, make your daughter happy. Let's do this! You didn't tell them beforehand? <laughs> Captain! What kind? What she set up? Oh my goodness. So formal. She did it! Come on, first step to being a hero, be courteous, you know, show your respect, say hi. Oh. Will the mom be here or she's still in the hospital? I feel like something's gonna go all wrong. Maybe Natsu brother's gonna... Do say something, college student. It's like, I feel like I'm intruding. I feel the family tensions. Uh, I mean, part of me gets Natsuo's like anger. Uh, it's not easy to like mend this bond, but like it's it's tough to see because like if you're just a guest and you're like, oh god, I feel this awkwardness. Oh no, not now, Deku. <laughs> yeah, you want to do that? Go to Shokugeki. <laughs>
Uh, Endeavor, you, since you're the one that fell, you gotta try harder. I, I can see the hurt in her eyes. I mean, his eyes too, but as someone, I can, I can definitely re relate to the Fuyumi sister in the fact, like, I'm trying to mend things and, like, people's feelings just, you know, it's awkward. It's the tensions. Like, I feel her. Yeah, Katcha, you could, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, he was there, wasn't he? I think like, usually girls are more forgiving. I don't think all, but maybe because I like relate so much to Fuyumi, like I've been in her kind of situation. It's... Oh, she didn't even mention the dad. Oh, they're all listening. I feel like maybe Natsuni, he does, whether he wants to or not, inside he doesn't want to forgive his dad, whether, whether, whatever he's feeling right now. <sighs> and are you there? Lip. Yeah, I'm looking at that picture closely. Toya. Wow. Mixed feelings. I know the first half of this episode was, you know, flashback. And I can definitely see people not liking that. For me, it was okay because it's not like we see this flashback that often. Well, you know, parts of it. The parts where Endeavor is yelling at Shoto. But the whole flashback we haven't seen in a while is what I mean. 
Yeah, I mean... There's no wrong... I mean, there is a... Like... Like... Oh my god, how do I explain this? Like, Endeavor, his past self, was not good. And he is trying to change, and it's not that easy to forgive someone. Yeah, but for the longest time, I think after season two, or during season two, I think Shoto somewhat forgives his father. Not totally. Like, he think he wants to, but part of him still hurts. You know, your past carries with you into adulthood. You'll always be thinking of it. Yeah, so that's why trauma in the kids is very terrible, because you will carry that with you for life, whatever you've suffered from it. Huh? Hmm. I wonder if that villain, hmm, maybe something to do with his son, the past. Like maybe the Endeavor caught him and he got mad at Endeavor, so he did something. Toya. Only thing regarding Toya is, I think I saw somewhat of a spoiler about it. I don't know if it's true or not, but. Like, we'll have to see, right? Because Todoroki always has the scar on his face. We don't really need the flashback because we know what we know what happened. My Hero Academia is such a big series. I'm pretty sure people rewatch it. So it's, they're not really, they're not really going to forget like what happened. But I get why they put the flashback. It, it, it didn't bother me too much. But if they keep showing it for future episodes, then, may, then maybe I'll get more annoyed. But for this episode, I think it's okay. And then the part they're just fighting villains and uh, Endeavor's giving advice. That one felt, it's not boring, but like, you know, he mentioned something similar in the previous episode. I can definitely see it's canon, but like in, ma in, in manga panels, you know, it's just like, you know, maybe one page. It's just, he's saying all of these words, one or two pages. So... But in, but in anime form, like, you know, he has to read everything out loud and they have to show the animation, slowing down, add, add music. So maybe it felt longer than it needed to be. But I think for the purpose of this episode to fit everything in, you know, at the very end, it leads to the family problems. And, and, then, and then at the end, we, you, we can see Endeavor, like, you know, he has like a little shrine, a little altar for his son. And, uh, you know, there's like a little incense where you could like... Uh, Pray, pray for the disease so yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked because I thought like you know in the flashback you we see Natsu and then we see Fuyumi and then we see a kid in red I assumed the kid in red was Toyani but then in here he has white hair so his hair changed color like he dyed it how did his hair change color because like if his hair color is red I'm assuming maybe his powers is very similar to Endeavor and then maybe but maybe Endeavor overworked him or I feel like he was a sickly child I feel like they mentioned Toya was not like a very strong maybe I'm wrong and then over time his hair changed color to white I don't know because white doesn't necessarily mean you have ice power it could mean you're getting older you're sickly I don't know I don't know much detail about Toya besides uh besides the possible spoiler Right, and I didn't click on anything. It's just, I think like around three years ago, there's like, there's like a YouTube like thumbnail and it showed, you know, someone and it said something in subtitles with a question mark. So I'm like, oh, that makes me question. Definitely, like I keep mentioning, nobody is, uh, I, I can't say nobody is in the wrong, but I understand everyone's feelings there's definitely people out there who strive to 
to, to to reach a goal and like you know if failure after failure keeps hitting you in the face it's just gonna affect your mood your personality and it's gonna you're gonna take it out on your family on those closest to you the thing is endeavor recognizes that fall he's trying to change i don't know he's not putting as much effort because maybe he feels the situation is too awkward to say something because like in that moment i feel like no matter how much natsu is gonna reject you since you are the one at fault, you the one that started it, Endeavor should like make an- He did say one thing in the, oh, I'd love to eat your food, Natsu, but like, that's not enough. Maybe he feels like if he goes too much, then like, you know, it's just gonna push Natsu back. Like maybe if you're too nice, then Natsu might be like, oh, that's not even you, you're being fake, you're trying to like, you know, win me over with fake smiles and stuff. Maybe that's it. The the main thing is a man, big sis Fuyumi, I like I feel her. Like I'm I see her trying to keep everything together. Any any little thing that like brings family together, she's just like so excited, like, oh my gosh, Shota Sh Shota has friends. Oh my gosh, mom is getting better in the hospital. She's gonna get discharged too. Like Natsu, you better like come join the dinner with dad. Like everyone's gonna be here. Let's I'ma cook a feast for everyone and everything is laid out nicely. She's like has an apron and introducing herself, welcoming the guests, and uh out of the flashback, the one that hits is when um I think maybe like a few months ago, she's she in the flat in the flashback. She's talking with her dad. And she mentions like Shoto's Shoto's change, and I love it every time she gets so excited. Like she's so like fluffy. Like she's just so something about her just makes me want to give her a head pat, like a hug. Like you know, through all the pain that she's been through. Definitely during the dinner time. Like you know, at first it started off cool. Like. Deku, Deku being himself very polite, enjoying the food, analyzing it, and then and then they just kind of talk about their family life, and then Natsu's like, you know, I'm done, I can't, sorry, I can't take it, everyone, I'm out. Yeah, and then, yeah, Bakugo and Deku's like, ooh, this tension, and then later on, they hear even more of the situation outside. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, like, since it's a Japanese house, everything, the walls are very thin. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, based on the animes I've seen, the sliding door breaks pretty easily. Someone can just get sent flying, and then the whole thing will break. So I think maybe, like, the window part is, like, a paper material, like, so definitely can hear through. But I didn't expect Natsu and Endeavor to be on, like, other side of the walls and also listening in. Bakugo lets out some of his, like, anger slash comic relief to ease the tension. He's like, why do you invite us over if you have all these problems, blah, 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 right? <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure next episode, they're gonna explain more in depth of the family problem. Uh, I don't know, like what's the top over? Like Natsu pretty much yelled out what Endeavor has done and he knows what he's done. I, I sorry, I keep like repeating myself so many times. Cause there's like a moment at the end of season four where Endeavor is fighting one of the nomus, one of the advanced nomu, and he could possibly die. And you know, all of his, all his children are like watching the TV, the phones, like intensely, like ho hopefully my dad don't die, whatnot. So they do care, for, but it's like painful. It's like part of you don't care and part of you do. Like it's your dad, it's still your dad, right? You still feel something, but like the past memories just keep on. So Endeavor, you're gonna have to try, give more of effort. I do like what Deku has to say in the fact like, Toto, I think you're ready to forgive your dad, but maybe he don't know how to say it. Hmm. Everything, it just needs time. Like the time will just tell me. I'm pretty sure Endeavor, Endeavor definitely has to prove himself. Maybe he sacrifices himself. He needs to show that he cares, that he's changed. Yeah, but I'm just trying to like, what could it be? Like during this, this League of Villain plus the arm, the meta liberation army thing is coming. So maybe during this, I know a lot of people previously had called like keeping up with the Todorokis and this is just like a continuation. Like there's like some drama going on and uh, yeah, feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts. I'll be sure to read them and see you guys for the next reaction. Peace out.